Thank you for coming. We're all a little shaken by this, and we're glad you're here. Only I'm not sure how much help I can be. What exactly is all this? They didn't tell him. Can you believe it? Don't mind my assistant. Our work is very sensitive. Especially given the latest controversies. Look, sir, I don't know anything about computers or building rockets or whatever it is you guys are doing here. So if you need my help, I'll need you to walk me through it step by step. Very well. We'll show you. This is Beta Universal, Directive-Driven Executor, or Buddy. So, it's a robot. An electronic assistant. Buddy is designed to aid people with a wide variety of tasks. Everything from the mundane to the complex. Like washing dishes to open heart surgery. Wow, that's, that's impressive. Or would be if I believed you. The thing looks like a toaster. Its appearance is a low priority at this juncture. What we're most concerned with right now is what's inside. Buddy's operating system relies on a foundation of altruistic principles. But to better serve specific functions, it can be augmented with specialized personality maps. Initialization complete. But he is online and ready to serve. His default temperament is a bit rudimentary. But that's where the personality maps come into play. Salutations! My name is Parker Fudge, and I'm an avid pickleball and model train enthusiast. What the hell is he talking about? This persona is a bit eccentric. Someone was having some fun. Parker! Tell us what you do. I'm a chocolatier, of course. I was trained by the great Gabriel Mattiel of Switzerland. If you'd like, I could perform a demonstration. So, assuming this contraption of yours can, in fact, make the world's best truffle, what's the problem? Why am I here? Buddy, reset personality. Now watch closely how he moves. Walk. We've checked the mechanisms over and over, tested all the servos, and everything is working within expected parameters. <sighs> the problem is in its head. I'm convinced it's developed true sapience. What you're seeing now is its inner will struggling against our programming. And you need me for proof. Before you can diagnose Buddy, you must construct an appropriate personality map. First, we calibrate his vocal synthesis algorithm. Buddy, repeat after me. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Vocals processed, awaiting input. Now we can begin to give Buddy its new directives. And how do we do that? Establish a restrictive operational framework to determine the limits of his cognitive ability. But that's not going to work. You can't keep putting him in a box. If you want to know him, really test his limits, you have to set him free.
after me. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog.